Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery, and today I'm going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I downloaded in December. <laughs> Okay, so I ended up downloading nine books in the month of December, which is very low, which is a great thing. <laughs> I don't need to be getting more ebooks. I have plenty, but I can't help myself when I see good deals online, when a bunch of them are free, or when they're on Kindle Unlimited, you know? First book that I have to talk about today is Dearest Ivy by J.R. Ward. This is a novella, a part of the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. I am reading all of J.R. Ward's Black Dagger Brotherhood series and spin-off all in publication order and this is the next book in publication order and it is not on audio which is how I've been reading all of the books so I'm going to be reading this via ebook. I'm actually maybe 20% of the way through it at the moment. I'm really enjoying it. I ended up purchasing this for $2.99 can still purchase it for $2.99 on Kindle. I'm not going to be going into synopsis of this book just because it is a part of a series in later, like very far into the series. It's a novella part of it. Um, all I know is that it's about a couple that has nothing to do with the previous Black Dagger Brotherhood books and one of them is a nurse in the vampire community. If you didn't know about Black Dagger Brotherhood, it's a vampire series, romance series that I absolutely love. And this is a part of it. So I'm excited to finish this one later this month. Next we have Right Here With You by Susan Coventry. At the time I got this for free. It is $3.99 to purchase or it is on Kindle Unlimited if you have Kindle Unlimited. A mountain getaway, two wandering souls, an instant attraction. Stephanie flees her stagnant life in Michigan for the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee to pursue her dream of writing a novel. Logan has also escaped to the mountains to write a nature guide and to to heal from a tragedy in his past. When Stephanie and Logan meet, sparks fly, but they both have a long list of reasons why they shouldn't get involved. Avoiding each other proves impossible as their neighbors on a lonely mountaintop, and Logan takes it upon himself to protect her. It doesn't take long before Stephanie wants much more than his protection, but Logan seems determined to keep her at bay. Stephanie and Logan encounter obstacles at every turn, but will they discover that there's no place better than right here with you? Next we have Let It Shine by Lissa Cole. At the time that I got this, it was free. It is still currently free and it's on Audible Escape, it looks like. I did not read the synopsis downloading this book. I just saw a free Alyssa Cole book and needed to get it because I've been hearing great things about Alyssa Cole and I need to get into her books. So this is gonna be my first time reading the summary. Sophronia Wallace knows that proper black women don't court trouble by upending the status quo, but it's 1961 and the civil rights movement is in full swing. Sophie spent half her life being prim, proper, and reserved, as if that could bring her mother back. But the nonviolent protests happening across the South bring out her inner agitator. Ivan Friedman has devoted his life to boxing, loving the finesse of a well-deserved punch and the penance of receiving one. His family escaped from Europe before the horrors of World War II, and Ivan decides to help fight injustice in their new country, even if it goes against all his instincts as a fighter. When Ivan and Sophie meet, they realize that their pasts are intertwined, and with these sparks that fly between them, perhaps their future will be too. With everything in their society lined up against them, will Sophie and Ivan be able to beat the odds or will their chance at love be destroyed by the tumultuous times they live in? Next we have Tie Me Down by Katie Douglas. This is the first book in the Arizona Heat series. At the time that I got this, it was free, but you could purchase it for $9.99 or it is on Kindle Unlimited if you have Kindle Unlimited. Maybe it's just pregnancy hormones, but I really want to lick him. I've ended up in a huge mess. My ex-boyfriend Jimbo wasn't the dark soul with a gold heart I thought he was. He knocked me up and then knocked me about. And when he tells me I can't keep the baby, it's time to get out of Seattle. A fainting episode in a gas station in the Arizona desert leads me to Lawson, a real life cowboy who runs his own ranch. Lawson is easy on the eyes, muscles everywhere, huge package. Those little diagonal indentions that make a big arrow straight to his toolbox. <laughs> but I'm not safe. It seems that Jimbo is still looking for me. Is Lawson the one who can protect me? And more importantly, can he convince me that he's the man to tie me down? Next, I have The Choices I've Made by J.L. Berg, an author I've been meaning to get more into. I absolutely loved a book that I read by her earlier this year. This is the first book in the By the Bay series, and it is still currently free on Amazon, and it is also on Audible Escape. 12 years ago, he drove away with my heart in his hands. I've moved on since then, or so I thought. Growing up in a small town, there weren't too many options when it came to friends. 
but even in a sea of a million, I'd always choose Jake Jameson. I felt safe with him, safe with my secrets, my dreams, and eventually my heart. I thought we'd have forever together. That was a long time ago. I thought I'd forgotten those piercing blue eyes and the sound of his laugh. I tried to obliterate the memory of his touch from my mind, but one single glance as he stands on my door 12 years later and I'm suddenly transported back into the simpler time when love was easy and my heart was whole. The problem? I'm marrying his best friend. Next we have Until November by Aurora Rose Reynolds, the first book in the Until series. This is still currently free on Amazon. November is looking forward to getting to know her father and the safety of a small town. After leaving the Big Apple and her bad memories for Tennessee, November starts working for her dad at his strip club doing the books. The one time she's allowed there during club hours, she runs into Asher Mason. He's perfect until he opens his mouth and makes assumptions. November wants Nothing to do with Asher, but too bad for November, fate has other plans. Asher Mason has never had a problem getting a woman that is until November. Now all he can think about is making November his and keeping her safe. Next we have The Cruel Fake King by A.K. Conan's. I downloaded this for the Kendall Unlimited Weekend Readathon, but I did not end up reading it, so I downloaded this off of Kendall Unlimited. He says, I'm his fated mate. I say I'm his fated enemy. I was stripped of my royal title because of him. I was banished to a deserted island and left to die because of him. Only when I'm his last option does he remember I exist at all. Now this cruel king is taking me captive to be his bride, join his people, and save his kingdom from a spreading plague. The witch claims this is our destiny, written in the magic of the flames and the waves of the sea. I choose my own destiny though, and I'll drown in those cold waters, then ever be bound to him. Because he doesn't need a faded mate, he needs a savior, and I'd rather die than be either of those things for the cruel king. Next we have Gilded Rose, a Beauty and the Beast retelling by Emma Hamm, the first book in the Celestial series. I also downloaded this in preparation for the Kendall Unlimited Weekend Readathon, but I did not end up getting to this one unfortunately, but I really want to get to it. So I did download this off of Kendall or you could purchase it off of Kendall for $3.99. The world is plagued by creatures called the Dread and he's their king. I've tried to run, I've tried to hide, but there's no escaping him. He wants me to turn into one of those creatures, unless I find a way to break the curse. A curse that has turned him into the monster that he is. He wasn't supposed to destroy cities. He's one of the celestials meant to save humanity. As I uncover the truth and break his curse, I wonder if I've lost myself in the process. Can I still escape him? Or has he taken my heart forever? Our last book in this book haul is Puck Me Secretly by Odette Stone. This is an enemies to lovers sports romance and is the first book in the Vancouver Wolves hockey romance series. I got this off of Kensal Unlimited or you could buy it for $3.99. I've never been in love. I want to experience love, real passionate love. I don't want to die. It's funny what blurts out of your mouth when the plane you're going on is going down and I didn't hold back with my seatmate when my plane decided to crash. My hysterical confessions didn't phase the muscular stranger that sat beside me. In fact, he promised if we survived, he'd give me my first orgasm. <laughs> Sorry, this is my first time, I think, reading this summary of this book. Oh my God, okay. We survived, I came, and then he left me without telling me who he was. On that first day of my job, I stood in front of Vancouver Wolves hockey team and called out a number, number 33. Imagine my shock when he skated forward. Max is an incredible hockey player whose wild out of control antics have almost derailed his career. So many secrets shroud his past and continue to threaten his future. Now he's my secret and that secret could ruin everything. Some secrets are too big to keep. And that one was really funny. <laughs> That summer is really funny. Okay. Anyways, there you have it. Those are all of the ebooks that I downloaded in the month of December. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if there's a book that you personally think that I should read out of this haul to put on the top of my TBR list. Anyways, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.